pure red pepper puree. Absolutely fantastic. Just don't be fooled how you can turn something from the supermarket into a fantastic restaurant quality meal. This is exceptional. So there we are, our spinach and ricotta tortellini with a fantastic roasted red pepper sauce. Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef, I'm Rick. Today we're doing a red pepper puree and then we're going to make a red pepper sauce with the red pepper puree. And then to make this really special, we are going to take Italy's number one ricotta and spinach tortellini and make it into a fantastic restaurant quality meal with a roasted red pepper sauce. Let's show you how to do it, come on. Store-bought red pepper puree is good, you know, you can buy it, but you can make it and you can put it in the fridge and you can use it for sauces, pasta, vegetables, use it as a dip, anything like that. It is fantastic to have in. So it starts with some red peppers. Now what we're going to do is get into these peppers and we just want to take out the seeds. We don't want any of that seedy stuff in this. And you can take it out any which way you want, it doesn't matter. So we're going to take that off there and we're going to get rid of that pith off there, look. Give it a little tappy. There's the seeds. If you get one seed in there, so be it. One piece of pepper, so let's have that off there. We don't want that on there. Okay, take yourself a tray, line it out. I've lined this with parchment paper, you can put foil on. We want our pepper on there. Chop side down, skin side up. Now just get it, it's going to shrink, so don't worry about it. Just get it on and we're going to move it around in a minute when it starts cooking. So that is our peppers. Now you can put oil on if you want. It's up to you, I've oiled in the past, it doesn't really matter for what we're doing here. We want to scorch the heck out of this, we want those black. So you need to get the oven on. And we're going on for the highest temperature that this will have, which is 230. We're not bothered about preheating it on this one. We're going to shove it in and we're going to hit start for half an hour we are trying to scorch the heck out of that skin that's all we're trying to do we're trying to get it completely black if possible and cooked so the next stage for us we actually want to cook some garlic now the garlic could have gone in there and roasted as well but as you can see the tray is completely full we will be using olive oil in our dish so we're going to do it this way we want a couple of tablespoons of olive oil we want a flame on and we want to go in there with some garlic. You can smash it, mash it, do what you want, that's up to you, it doesn't need it. We're just going to give that a little bit of a cooking in there, we're going to char that up in there. But by doing it this way and not doing it that way, we're infusing this olive oil as well with the garlic. So just a little bit of colour on there, turn it off. We don't want to burn the garlic as it will impart a bit of flavour. It will only be minimal but it will be a bit of flavour. So that's it. That's our cooking done. Okay that's good enough for me. Let's have that out of there. Look at those, perfect. Just what we want. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take a bag and we are going to put them in a bag. And some of you are going to say, well, put it in a bowl and cover the bowl. That's up to you. 
we want these in there to steam and that's going to make it easier for us to take the skins off we don't want the skins but we want that smoky flavor from there all we do is we leave it leave it to steam for a few minutes it'll cool down and then we'll just take the skins off and then we'll blend it all okay when you've let it steam five or six minutes we need to take the skins off we don't want the skins so these are really really hot and all we're doing let's just tip all that on there so all we're doing is taking that skin off there and we've got a lovely smoky pepper which we've charred up in the oven fantastic now if you i mean these are just falling off but if you get something which is quite hasn't um, cooked the skin properly you might need to take the knife and just peel it off peel all the skins off your peppers okay it's very straightforward that oil that we had with the garlic in there and the garlic now obviously if you don't like garlic you ain't cooking garlic want a little bit of salt about half a teaspoon and we want about a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper now optional ingredient half a teaspoon of smoked paprika and then we want about a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar and then we've got to give it a blend so on it goes so in it goes in there so there we are pure red pepper puree absolutely fantastic what does it taste like that is absolutely incredible smokiness sweetness oh got that little bit of a tang to it from the balsamic vinegar that is perfect that is a fantastic red pepper puree jar it stick it in the fridge use it to make pasta sauces anything even a dip dip on bread dip with celery dip anything like that that's as healthy as heck really good so that is red pepper puree made you buy one of these in the supermarket a fantastic product from italy ricotta and spinach tortellini already made up you open the bag and what do you get you get spinach and ricotta tortellini no sauce you've got to make a sauce you can tip in a jar or a goo or you can make your own we're making our own a roasted red pepper sauce using our red pepper puree pan on a little bit of boiling water and we want to go in there with some salt and we want to dump that in there get it to the boil and we're going to boil it for about two minutes according to the packet and this is italy's number one so we're just going to cook that up in there nice and steady and once we know it's cooked we're going to take it out we're going to crack on with the sauce and then we'll chuck this back in the sauce it's that easy it's that quick to make a fantastic homemade roasted red pepper sauce to go with this tortellini a superb all-round meal okay that's had a couple of minutes let's have that out of there a 
that is job done one side let's crack on with a sauce pan on very easy this one a couple of tablespoons of olive oil in there with our garlic flame not too high a little whiz round take the rawness out of the garlic that's all we're not trying to brown it as such i mean this is a really quick recipe in there with our red pepper puree flame not too high give it a good stir around Whee! fabulous smell fabulous so we're just going to give that a little cooking in there bring those flavors that olive oil that garlic together the smell of the red pepper is absolutely off the charts that really is superb a little bit of salt a little bit of black pepper Salt and pepper to taste, as per usual. In there, cream. As much cream as you like, actually. You know, you're making a creamy red pepper sauce. So I've got in with a cup, we're going to stir that in. Just get that all fully incorporated in there. In with our Parmesan, stir it all in so it's all melted and gone creamy in our sauce. Obviously you can add as much cream as you like to make a, a lot more of a creamy sauce. Take our tortellini we've just cooked, put that in there, stir it through. Don't worry if it's stuck together a little bit, it'll loosen up when it gets in the sauce. Just try not to break it all up if you can. A little stir in. And with a little bit of fresh chopped basil, put that basil flavour in there. And we'll save a little bit to go over at the end. And that is tortellini with a roasted red pepper sauce made. That is dinner to be served on the table right now. How quick is that? A little bit of parmesan, a little bit of basil. So there we are, our spinach and ricotta tortellini with a fantastic roasted red pepper sauce. That turns a, a good shop bought product into a fantastic meal. Let's get dug in look at that come on in here whoa our sauce wow mm. wow 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 <laughs> that is exceptional mm. That spinach and ricotta tortellini, number one in Italy, shop bought, no sauce, add this roasted red pepper sauce to it and you have a fantastic, really high quality restaurant meal. That really is exceptional. Just don't be fooled how you can turn something from the supermarket into a fantastic restaurant quality meal. This is exceptional. If you like what we're doing, a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, catch you in the next video.